Hey guys, it's Sean with Stumpf Moving Stores, and today I'm in the back of one of our moving trucks here as I show you guys how a moving truck is professionally packed and loaded. We're gonna get into it in a second here, but before we do, if you like this kind of stuff, if you get value out of the video, hit that like button for me. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our videos that will teach you guys how to be a professional mover. So the first thing that goes in the load is gonna be your base. Base consists of things like washer dryers, dressers, and any large items that can hold weight as we load the tier. Following proper padding techniques, we'll make sure that all of the items that we load here stay damage free throughout the entirety of the move. If you guys have any questions on how we pad things, I'm gonna link a few videos in the description below. That way, you guys know how to pad everything correctly. Typically these items would be padded prior to coming onto the truck, however we are loading out of storage right now. So we're taking storage pads off and putting moving pads on. Now sometimes base can even include large nightstands such as these ones here. As you can see it's pretty large for a nightstand but it still works great as base. Not always but sometimes you will have to use boxes as base. The main thing is making sure that they are packed properly and that you put the heavy ones on the bottom working your way from heaviest to lightest as you stack upwards. Right there's one of those situations where I have a heavy 4.5 and no other furniture available to put in that spot so we're going to use what we have. We're going to either be working our way left to right or right to left here, making sure that everything is tight. We don't want anything to be loose because that's how damage occurs. So sometimes you will come into a situation where you're going to have to really start to think about what you have. That's when you need to communicate with your movers. Make sure that they know what you need and what to bring to you. So right now I'm filling up the right side of the tier here. We're going to be using those plastic pieces to really shore up that load and make sure everything is nice and tight. So now that we have this nice and tight, I'm going to keep in the back of my mind all this extra space that I have here as I continue to load. Once you get to a point about chest high, belly button high, then you're going to need to be thinking about what we call medium. Medium stuff consists of uh, medium sized boxes, nightstands, uh, stools, chairs, things of that nature. We're going to put a, a nice base layer of that and then on top of that we're going to use what we call uh, up stuff here in the, the northeast. They also call it chowder or stick. So those items will go at the very, very top, but right now we're going to focus on your medium stuff. So down here was your base. Up here is going to be your medium stuff. I'm going to use chairs for this example.
All my chairs have been pre-wrapped, so we don't have to worry about doing that because my helpers have already done that, and I just have to concentrate on loading. When you do that, they fit in nicely, just like that. As you guys can see here, we're still working right to left, but I have a situation here where this piece of furniture sticks up higher than this section of the tier. There's a couple things you could do here. If you have a piece of furniture or an item that can fill this gap, you want to put it in there, that'll work great. They also have the old movers technique that we like to call the hot dog or the sausage. Just take a pad, roll it up, and fill that spot. That way you don't have any loose sections where furniture can move around. So we're going to do that. Oh look, still didn't fill it, so we're going to do another pad or another hot dog. Now there are some guys out there I'm sure that are going to say, well you're just wasting space, but at the end of the day, we want to make sure that this load is nice and tight, especially if you're going long distance, cross country, things of that nature. You're going to hit more bumps in the road. And if you don't have air ride, if you're riding a spring ride truck, things will get jostled around and things will break. So making sure this load is nice and tight is of the utmost importance. Take that other pad, put it in here. Now you have a nice level loading surface. We're going to continue with these chairs now. If you guys are running out of space or anything like that, if you really have to pack the truck tight, you could put items inside the chair legs. But make sure they're padded so you don't have any damage. Now that we have the medium section of the tier done, as you can see, we used up all our chairs, we used a couple medium sized boxes and this cooler here to really square this load away. We're going to go ahead and focus on the tippy top here and that's what we call the up stuff, at least we call that up stuff and you know you also hear other movers call that chowder, stick, things of that nature. I mean, new guys might even call it the little stuff. So we're just gonna really fill all that in there, make sure we use up as much space as possible. Keeping in mind that as the guys are bringing you stuff, you do have other sections of this load that can be filled. I'm talking about this section right here. You might have a couple items there. You have a little spot here. And guess what? You even have underneath your dressers to fill. Keeping in mind, everything needs to be padded. That way you don't have any damage. Um, but that being said, I'm just going to get into it.
And there you have it, the perfect tier. Well, close to perfect anyways. Uh, every job, every move is different. You're gonna have things that would make a tier easier to load and you're gonna have things that make a tier more difficult to load. The main thing is keeping an open mind, using what you have in front of you to the best of your ability and making sure that everything is padded and making sure that the load is tight. If it's loose, things will jiggle and things will break. If everything is not padded properly, things will rub together and they will scratch and get damaged. Make sure that you have everything nice, padded, and nice and tight, and you won't have any issues. It's like a big game of Tetris, guys, and it could be fun or it could be difficult. Either way, it's a challenge, and I like a challenge, so I think it's fun. With all that being said, guys, I gotta keep loading this truck, so I'm on to the next tier. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video, if you got any value out of it. And don't forget to hit that like button. That way I know to keep bringing this stuff to you.